let me just give you what uh, we are actually going to cover as part of an ETL testing. Um, in case um, if your uh, requirements are different, so probably you can just understand um, how it is going to work and everything. See, basically, I hope uh, you're aware of it, uh, what you've actually logged in for and all. So this is uh, a demo for a ETL testing class. So basically, we are going to understand uh, how the ETL testing will be done in the data warehousing projects. In data warehousing projects, it's basically how it will be you. I mean, how it can be, how it is used in ETL testing. That's we'll understand. So let me try to give you um, first a basic idea about what is an ETL testing and what is an ETL, and then we'll talk about what are the syllabus that we are going to cover as part of this. See, um, in order to first understand about the ETL, so we need to know about the different uh, type of uh, applications. One is called as an OLTP. So OLTP is called as a online transaction processing application, right? Online transaction um, processing application, which is called as an OLTP. So online transaction processing application. So basically these applications are used for a day to day operations. It's like ATM withdrawal is one OLTP application or similarly e-commerce applications like Amazon, eBay um, as well as any other e-commerce application you can call it as an OLTP or any reservation application like let's say I mean if you're aware of it like Yatra.com or you know, the IRCTC which is Indian Railway ticketing system uh, which talks about this so all these um, systems are used for daily operations in the sense it is uh, one or the other customer will actually go to these systems and they perform the transactions uh, with respect to it so this is um, called as a transactional processing system so every day there is a new data which will get added to these systems which is called as an OLTP. So now uh, we need to talk about a data warehouse or a OLAP. So what do you mean by the warehouse or what do you mean by the OLAP, how it works. So basically the data warehouse is nothing but the collection of data from the different transactional systems, uh, different OLTP systems and which is used for analysis. So data warehouse is basically used to identify the uh, business analysis metrics like what is a profit, what is the total number of uh, customers added in this quarter or what is a loss, I mean what is the revenue, what is the growth of the business. So all these kind of analysis which we are going to do, so that is called as a OLAP system. So when you talk about an ETL, ETL is pretty simple. When you have a different transactional systems, let's say, uh, assume that Amazon has a, a different, you know, um, transactional system for a different regions. So which could be like, you know, um, which is called as um, Amazon.com is for US. And similarly, let's say Amazon.in uh, this is basically for uh, India and you do have the other one let's say Amazon.eu for a complete Europe region. So these are all the different transactional systems what these um, web applications or e-commerce application do it's basically it will it is helping the Amazon customers to buy the products from this whatever the Amazon sells they are going to buy from this. So assume that these transactional systems are implemented in the different platforms. So let's say Amazon.com is implemented in, uh, let's say, Oracle ERP, and the data is actually stored in the Oracle database. Similarly, Amazon.in is something that which is stored in the MS SQL server, that is from the Microsoft. So basically, 
MS SQL Server and the other one let's say which you would like to use is uh, maybe you have these things on the DB2 or a mainframe system so these are all the different transactional system what we have so an ETL means um, it's nothing but the integration of data from the different transactional systems these transactional systems you are going to integrate this data into a centralized database so that's called as a data warehouse so when you talk about the data warehouse it's nothing but the database you can choose any database as a data warehouse let's say we have Oracle I mean I can choose Oracle as my data warehouse or I can choose Teradata as my data warehouse all these things so the process of integrating the data from all these transactional systems into the data warehouse is called as an ETL process so ETL stands for a extraction of data from a transactional system transform is nothing but the modifying of the data to your required format and L stands for a loading of the data so once we load the data into data warehouse business users will generate the reports from the data warehouse with the help of a BI tools with the help of a BI tools um, this uh, with the help of a BI tools they analyze the data so basically analyzing the data is nothing but they generate the reports and they understand that what is the revenue in India what is the revenue in US so like this kind of a metrics or like this kind of a business analysis uh, your BI tools will help you to perform so who is going to use a data warehouse so data warehouse is completely used by the you know um, uh, completely used by the uh, this uh, business users like your CEO sales distribution managers marketing managers of the company so they use the data warehouse for uh, analyzing the data and all so when you talk about the um, data warehouse so data warehouse comprises of the two modules one is a ETL which helps you to integrate the data from all these transactional systems into the warehouse and from the data warehouse to generate the reports in the form of a bar graphs or a pie charts um, bar graphs or pie charts which it is there um, which you have so to analyze all these things and do it so we have a different BI tools which are available so when you talk about what are the different ETL tools which are available in the market so there are so many ETL tools available in the market which is all about you know um, it's basically uh, Informatica power center is one ETL tool which helps you to do that and similarly SSIS SQL server integration service and you have the other tools like Abinitio which you have and basically you also have the other tools uh, like a data stage so likewise you have a various ETL tools which helps you to integrate the data from different transactional systems or it could even integrate the data from the different files like a flat files and XML files also your ETL tools are compatible to integrate the data now and your BI tools are basically generating the reports from the data warehouse now what are the different BI tools that we have so BI tools when you talk about there are so many reporting tools which we call so one is about the you know um, basically the uh, OBIE Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition and other thing is called as a SSRS so SQL Server Reporting Services and you also have a Cognos likewise we have a different BI tools which are available so when you talk about the testing process in a data warehousing and in a data warehousing projects so the testing also is being divided into two types so one is called as an ETL testing and another is called as a BI testing what you talk about so when you talk about an ETL testing you know how the ETL testing will be done and how the BI testing will be done let's understand here 
So basically the ETL testing, whatever we are talking about, let's say ETL developers will create a programs will to integrate the data from all these transactional systems into the warehouse with the help of any of these tools. Maybe it could be a power center or it could be an SSIS or it could be a data stage. So anything they will use and they will integrate the data. Now what is the job of an ETL tester? ETL tester has to validate the data whether they have integrated the proper data from the transactional system into the warehouse or is there any issue with the program or is there any defect with the program which is being developed by the ETL developer by using these tools. Now in such a way like ETL testing is basically is being divided into multiple types you know the uh, testing is basically done in the multiple ways and the BI and both will be the, uh, classified into different types. So we classify the testing as you know the smoke testing and uh, other thing is called as a functional testing which we call it and smoke testing functional testing and we have the system testing or an integration testing which we call um, and the integration uh, system testing integration testing and you'll also talk about the performance testing and the regression testing. So mainly we'll perform these type of uh, smoke testing, functional testing and all. So what do you do in each testing? So for performing an ETL testing, do we have any automation tools? Answer is no. So we do not have any automation tools. All we do is we'll validate the data between your transactional system and the warehouse, which is like a relational in nature. So we are going to use an SQL to uh, validate the data. So we will write a separate SQL queries to validate the data between a transactional system and the warehouse and warehouse and the reports. So we will write a queries in the SQL and which helps you to validate the data. So when you talk about a smoke testing what we are going to do and when we talk about the functional testing what, what could be done in this and the system testing what we can do all these things will understand. So assume that there is an ETL program or ETL uh, component which is being developed and which is reading the data from the table 1 right and it's transforming the data some transformation logic is happening you're modifying that data and loading the data into the target table called as a T2. So T1 is like your uh, table which is present in the transactional system and T2 is the table which is present in the warehouse. So now you need to perform how the smoke testing works. So basically we are going to verify whether all the programs are valid or not. Verify the ETL programs are migrated properly and valid or not. That's a smoke testing that you are going to uh, are valid or not that we are going to check. And the second thing is that do we have a target table present in the target database? So we'll check the existence of the target table, whether it is present or not. And we'll also check whether the data is added in the data is added in the or data is present in the target table. See, without the data we can't validate it. So all the ETL programs, what it is doing? It is integrating the transactional data every day whichever is being added to your transactional systems into the warehouse. So data is present in the target tables or not for validation that we are going to discuss. And when you talk about the functional testing, so basically we will validate the duplicate records in the target table. See, every day we are integrating the data from the transactional systems into this. So when you use that, uh, if when it is loading the data, so we'll verify whether these uh, duplicate records have been loaded in the target table uh, with the help of an SQL only we are going to do. So this is not a, uh, it's a manual testing but by using an SQL we are going to validate the data using this. And also let's say in the T1 table you have some thousand records and these thousand records are properly integrated or or is it rejected by your um, 
ETL program. So we are going to validate the count between the source and the target. So that is uh, count between the source and the target what it is there because of that. So count between the source and the target will do that. And we will also validate the column level data validation. So column level data validation means suppose let's say um, you have the column level data validation. You have the let's say the first name last name which is here. Uh, there are two columns in the uh, T1 table which it is called as a first name and last name and whether these first name and last name is being loaded properly into the T2 or not that we are going to verify. Let's say if you have the first name something like a Karthik, so um, if this is the data which is properly loaded or not, like maybe because of your program in the target table it is only the first three characters have been loaded and other characters have been truncated by your program. So we are going to validate the data, each and every record which is present in the source is matching with the target or not. So that is another functional testing that we are going to do. For that we will write an SQL query and there are different ways to validate the data. We will verify that. And the next one is about uh, null value validation. So let's say because of your ETL program, even though there is a data present in for a last name column, it is loaded as a null value. So null value means it's not loaded that. So if there are any values which are missing like that, so we will use the null value validation which helps you to identify. So likewise, we have a different test cases which we are going to write uh, based on the your ETL programs and then we will validate the data. So this is a different test scenarios which we are going to test.